Days after a massive oil leak in the Keystone pipeline, a key vote comes tomorrow for the controversial Keystone XL expansion. Here's Roxana Saberi. What appears from above to be a small spot staining the South Dakota farmland is an estimated 210,000 gallons of oil from a leak in the Keystone pipeline. TransCanada, the Canadian company running the pipeline, says its crews shut it down after noticing the leak Thursday morning. We have the, the right personnel here to do the job and we're going to be here and, and aggressively do this. But local landowner Ken Moakley is worried about contamination. I don't want it to happen anywhere, but of course I, I don't want it to happen on us. The Keystone Pipeline delivers oil from Canada all the way to Illinois and Texas. The leak in South Dakota came just four days before Nebraska regulators are set to announce whether to let TransCanada build another pipeline through their state. The proposal, called the Keystone XL, has sparked criticism from Nebraskans like Art Tandra. What gives a foreign corporation the right to come in and take land away from Nebraska farmers. In March, President Trump paved the way for the project by reversing former President Obama's rejection of it on environmental grounds and granting TransCanada a federal permit. TransCanada will finally be allowed to complete this long overdue project. Nebraska officials say the spill in South Dakota won't affect their decision on whether the expansion can go ahead. But critics say the leak is proof of the perils posed by pipelines. If regulators approve the Keystone XL expansion Monday, the new pipeline would carry about 830,000 barrels of oil a day from Canada through three states. It would connect with the existing Keystone pipeline that just leaked. Elaine, the cause of that leak is under investigation. Roxana, thank you.